his final two up before game one of the playoffs 30 second start he's taken his turn in the rotation every time he's been asked and he's been ready he's second in American League in strikeouts he's fifth in innings pitched 20 quality starts 4.6 on the war his fifth among starting pitchers fielding independent pitching is sixth he's near the top of almost all the pitching categories he has been tremendous and he's been a great addition to this staff. There is Noda left handed hitter and Noda does what he does all the time that's get on base so Geloff he was 0 for 4 last night Zach Geloff with a crisp base hit in the left field and the A's maybe something started early here on Lopez Lopez a start right out of the all star break in Oakland five and two thirds innings couple of home runs seven earned runs and argue was his worst start of the year two on nobody out here's Seth Brown there's strike three one away. now Brett Rooker two for four last night for the A's. Another strikeout, two down, with two on, and now Blade back to Lopez. Wonderful job pitching out of a jam in the first inning as the A's leave two aboard. Joey Estes, all of 21 years old, getting his second start at the major league level this year. Very impressive last time out. Love his confidence and his application. And here's Julian. A high blast to right, and it took one pitch. For the Twins to get on the board. His 15th home run and his seventh to the pole side. And that's no one your own strength right there. That ball landed on the top of the dock right there. <laughs> bounced out of here. That might have been a tough single on that ball stayed in the bumper part, but either way, that ball's out of here. He swag and a miss. There's the hard breaking ball. So Lopez strikes out the side. He has fanned five through two. Twins back at it, bottom two, leading one to nothing on your home for Twins baseball. Here's Kyle Farmer hitting eighth. RBI chance. Dumped down the right field line, chased by Brown, and a diving catch. The ball rolls free, and Castro will score. It looked like Brown had it, and it rolled out of his glove. We'll hope that he's not hurt. Injured himself in the diving attempt. Watch the feet. Right there. Yep. They kind of clipped it on the way up. If you've done it, you know what it feels like. <laughs> well, Seth Brown is going to stay in this game and tough it out. And Estes. After the Twins had scored their second run, strikes out Vasquez and Julian. Butler moves to third. Good job by Noda moving the runner over. Two down, and that will bring up Seth Brown. And that's driven back up the middle by Seth Brown. Oakland is on the board. They trail two to one. To your point, Judy, don't wait around. Seth Brown is an outstanding fastball hitter, and he jumped all over that bad boy. Down by a run for Brett Brooker. Tapper in front of Polanco. Gloves, flips. Safe at first. Solano dug it out. But Rooker hustling down the line got an infield hit at least before the Twins possible challenge. Glove and base right there's usually two things when it hits the ground then goes in the glove and the base that's I think a lot of times we see those plays that are close at first base go one way or the other and Rooker's walking off I think he expects to be called out here. Call is overturned the runner is out Minnesota will retain their challenge. No strikeouts in the third inning, and the A's got a run, but it's still two to one point. J.J. Blade up for a second time. Call third strike and strikeout number six for Lopez. Just one strikeout in the inning, but a one-two-three inning, and Lopez and the Twins still lead by one. So a double, now a single, tying run 90 feet away for Zach Gallup. That's going to be the end of Pablo's day. Theo Bar comes in out of the bullpen, and there's. The strikeout. Big strikeout. We got a pinch hitter. Diaz is going to come up. That is a fair ball. And the A's have tied the game. Butler is home. Notice streaking to third base. They'll put the brakes on there. Into second, delivering another pinch hit. His ninth of the year. A lead miss, Diaz. And we're not at a two apiece. And here's Rooker. Just it out in a shallow ride. And it's going to drop. It drops in front of Kepler, and the A's score two runs. And the A's have a 4-2 lead. Brett Rooker fights one off to shallow right, and it lands on the grass in Minneapolis. And Vasquez aboard with a leadoff single. And that'll bring up Julian. Noda picks it clean. There's one. Allen back to first. A little jumping around the bag there, and the play made by Geloff. Just a Noda good play. The ball was scalded, filled it very cleanly. Don't be surprised if this guy is not a gold glove contender if his career continues to a path that it is. We've been fortunate enough to have some very good first basements here in Oakland. Polanco will shift gears, he'll back from the left side. <laughs> oh, 
Polanco down to a knee. And there is the shutdown inning for Estes. And the A's still lead by two. And here's Max Kepler. And Kepler goes the other way to get his third hit of the night. Pulled two of them down the right field line. Slash that one to left. Two outs. Batter now is going to be Jeffers. Hit high in the air. Left field. Get up. Get up. Get up. And out of here. Jeffers has tied it up on an 0-2 breaking ball. Got all of that off the ribbon board up there. An home run porch. 4-4 tie. Joan Duran pitching to the A's in the seventh inning. He comes out of the pen in the seventh and strikes out the side. We're still tied at four. Strikes out the side, does so impressively. Nota, Geloff, Diaz, all strike out. So the go-ahead run now 90 feet away for Minnesota. And here comes Solano. Comebacker right back to Ursa. Goes to second for one. Nice grab by Ursa. And they turn two. And they keep Minnesota off the board. The wingspan of Geloff pays a price. And it goes one, four, three. Ruiz is on base. We'll see how Keichel handles that, being a lefty. There he goes. Pitches inside. Vasquez's throw. They got him. Not the easiest pitch for Vasquez to handle, but he threw a strike. Well, this is as quick a release as we've seen all year from Vasquez. Got it. He's always had a quick exchange, but this ball tailing into the runner. Julian does a nice job of somehow holding on to this ball. We're going to check and see. Uh, I think they're going to come out and check on Julian here. And Julian's smiling, so whatever this is, Julian thinks it's completely unnecessary. So Kepler, three for three. We'll Try to be the first left handed batter to get a hit against Jimenez. Driven to the gap, he's got a four hit night and is the first left handed batter to get a hit against Jimenez all year long. Trevor Larnick, the kid from the East Bay, is going to pitch it for Luplo. A high fly, right field, going back. Ruiz, that ball is off the wall. Stevenson held at second, will round third and come home. And Larnick doesn't know where the ball is, he'll hold up with a double. And the Twins take the lead. Stand back on this. Watch this ball off the wall. Breeze loses it. Coming down right there. Hits him in the back. And Stevenson scoring easily. The Twins have the lead. Driven to right. And deep enough to score Larnick from third base. And the Twins have at least two in the eighth inning. The tying run now is aboard. And so Griffin Jack's being asked to come in and get the last out of this ball game. Allen at second, Perez at first, and Zach Geloff. Last chance for the A's. Got it. Look it. Fastballs were 95 95, but the last one was 97 to end the game. Nice comeback win. Some clutch hitting, some clutch pitch hitting. 